Jesus speaks to his disciples about a treasure buried in a field and a pearl of great price. And that could easily be applied to each and every one of us. Only Jesus kind of does this in reverse order. Jesus puts into us the treasure. Jesus puts into us the pearl of great price. At our baptism, we began to share in his divine nature. And at communion, he gives us his body and blood, his soul and divinity. And so we become like that field with this great treasure in it. And then Jesus gives his life to buy us back. He pays the price. So Jesus has already done this. He hasn't just told us a parable about it. He has given us an example with his own life. He's already done this. Now he invites us to do it. And so we have to be like King Solomon in our first reading. We need to ask God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We need to ask God to give us a heart that desires what is good, what is better, and what is best. We need to ask God to give us an understanding heart so that we can understand what he has put into us and so that we can see that in other people. I have to say at least a little bit about our second reading. This starts, our reading starts with Romans chapter 8, verse 28. It is my favorite verse in the whole Bible. And I love it because it reminds me at times like these that God is still with me and that he's going to walk with me. He's going to bring me through this. St. Paul writes, and remember, when St. Paul writes this, he's been arrested and he's going to Rome. He knows that he's going to be in prison and he already knows that he's going to die. This has been revealed to him. And so he writes to the Christians in Rome. He says, brothers and sisters, we know that all things work. I like the translation, it's a little bit different. We know that all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So God has put this great treasure in us at our baptism and in communion. And he's going to make everything in your life work together to help you to get to heaven so that you can understand this in this life and we can inherit it and have it completely in the life to come. But it starts now. He's already put this into our hearts. He's already given us uh, a share in his divine nature. And so, this does not mean, what does this not mean? I was, I was having a discussion once with a, uh, with a pastor. <clears throat> and he says, oh, I, I want to build this new building. Uh, by the way, this wasn't a Catholic pastor. Um, this was like one of the evangelical ones where, you know, oh, we're going to have this big, you know, center and we're going to do all this stuff. And he says, you know, oh, we're going we're gonna to put in this social center so that people, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was tangentially related to religion. Um, he says, and I know that God will do this because God makes all things work together for those who love him. And so he's going to make this happen. And I said, ah, you forgot the second half of that verse. All right? who are called according to his purpose. 
It's not that we're going to be able to do anything because some things aren't God's will. But in what is his will, and his will is to have us share in his divinity. Our, his will is that we should be united with him in heaven. So we are called to do these things. And as long as we are on the right path, God will bring things together to make that happen. And just in conclusion, <clears throat> Again, this is verse 29 and 30 from Romans chapter 8. For those he foreknew, and he knows you. God already knows you, and he has called you to heaven, so he is predestined. I'm sorry, that's the next thing. Those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. Please note, that does not say, and those he justified, he will glorify sometime in the future. Those he justified, he also glorified. This has already happened. And you might not see it. You might not know this about yourself. You might not know this about God. But God has put this treasure into you. You are now the pearl of great price. And God is going to work with you. So that we can be together with him in heaven. And we remember that especially when we receive communion. This is God's gift. And he gave up everything so that we could be united with him.